Alright, this is going to be part 4 of Tales of Hearts R. Chalcedonia says, I've been waiting for you, Kor. Give us the shard. The shard is yours if you can best me. Our duel that began in Straga will come to closure one way or the other. Ready your Soma, we shall weigh your resolve by the might of your blade. Let us see who is stronger. I wouldn't have it any other way. Is that a smile I see? Only to match your own. Admit it, Chalcedone, we won. We, is it? I see. The power of your Soma does not come only from you, but the strength of your companions as well. So let it be done. I concede. The shard is yours. The fuck? Hisui says, hey, what's the big idea? Well done, Pyrox, says the High Priest. Your rogue behavior is most disappointing, Chalcedone. Father, what are you doing here? I seem to recall ordering you to apprehend this girl. Forgive me, but I reported your actions to the High Priest. Pyrox, how could you? Hey, nobody told me about this. That's not teamwork. I did it for your sake, sir. The Church must have these somatics. Letting them run free would stain your reputation and brand you as a traitor. You're wrong, Pyrox. That matter is just an excuse for the Imperial Army to rally against us. Defeat the army, and we shall be the one who writes history. But doing so demands the girl's capture. The power I desire of Lithia lies within the daughter of Eola. I've spent my life looking for it. How do you know my mother? And Lithia, says Kohaku. The High Priest says, Eola and Sidan were old friends of mine. He knew Gramps, too? Well, here's something he doesn't know. The army is bringing Zerum possessed troops to wipe out his forces. What nonsense is this? Your Worship, an urgent report. The main force of the Imperial Army is at the gates. We estimate they have a hundred thousand soldiers. Holy crap, we're smack dab in the middle of an all-out war here. Grossular, you conniving swine. This is all the more reason we must have Lithia's power. 
Ackerman says my own son dares point his blade at me. Pyrox, give the shard to Meteor. Sir, you mustn't. Please, Pyrox, if you truly fear for my honor, you must do this thing. Kablamo. Hope you like having extra emotions. The shard of dreams. Your ignorance is bewildering. Such honor is for fools blind to reality. The siege has begun. We await your orders, your worship. You shall reap what you have sown, Ch <coughs> Chalcedony. Go, flee Prince Ur at once. This matter is between the army and the church. I apologize for my subordinate's deception, and pray the girl has a speedy recovery. The night is correct. Immediate evacuation of the city should be our primary course of action. Who's gonna win this fight, Inez? Judging by the numbers, the army. They've been planning this for a while. I assume they have each soldier possessed. Still, these gates won't fall easily. The church will probably try to hold the army at bay until some kind of accord can be reached. Do you remember the mole we saw earlier, the one with the army goons who attacked the caravan? Oh man, if he's actually an army spy, this place is going to go belly up quick. What if he opens the gates? There will be fighting inside the city. We can't let that happen. We have to stop this. Hurry to the gates. priest says, Valentinism is the official faith of the Empire, Grassular. Attacking the Holy City is nothing short of treason. You would know treason, dog. Treason such as attacking Lignator and trying to assassinate the Empress. Still, I have no desire to slay a pack of helpless clergy. If you surrender, you will be unharmed. Your word is as hollow as the lies that you spout. General Grossular, I would ask to grant me... I would ask you to grant me an audience with the Empress, so we can clear this misunderstanding. Just as I thought, the church shelters Chalcedony, the very man responsible for the plot on her life. In her great mercy, the Empress ordered me to delay the siege unless I found proof of your treason, and now I have. Okay. A shame our long friendship must end in such a fashion, Labrador. Mere words cannot do justice to my sorrow. 
How dare you exploit the Empress' name to bolster your falsities. Were I guilty of such a deed, I wouldn't be the first, you manipulating hypocrite. Serumized battalions activate and march. In the name of the Empress, I hereby order the siege of Prince Sur, so that the Valentine Church can be brought to justice. Oh my. Grarg. What are these abominations? They must be the Zerum possessed troops that they warned us about. Uh. Guys, like, fuck this, I'm out of here. Look, there's that mole. Ah, it's the somatics. I knew it. Stop, if you open that gate, the city will become a war zone. Then, such as the instrument of my retribution, as the church ruined my village, so shall their holy city pay. Wait a sec, you're from one of those wacky pagan offshoots, aren't you? Slander us if you will, the church did as much before denying my faith and reducing my home to ash. Please, stop this! Oh no... An entire Zerum possessed army is coming this way. All battalions, charge! No, impossible! Who opened the gates? They had someone on the inside. Chalcedony says their power is not to be trifled with. No, this is our battle. Flee the city at once. We can't just run away from this. New order, sir. All knights are to assemble at the cathedral and establish a final line of defense. Commander, the fight is spreading across all of Prince Sur. The city is a battlefield. It's a matter of time before they hit the orphanage. Enough. Thirteenth Platoon, your orders are to protect all civilians and ensure their safe evacuation from the city. Yes, sir. But ignoring the orders would be treason. Protecting the weak is the path of the night, Pyrox. I brought this horror upon us, so I must salvage it. If that makes me a traitor, so be it. And yet our numbers are far too scarce, though you have no cause to help me. I would beg you help us in this. That was our plan all along. Now let's go save some lives. I promise we can do it if we work together. A knight's oath is sworn upon his sword. I'm not fond of contact. Gramps always said you can tell a man by his handshake. Women can shake too. This proximity is not knightly. <laughs> then let's start being knightly and save the city. Come on. My face. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> oh, actually, that's not the right way. It's gotta be this way, man. Maybe? I don't know. I know nothing. I'm just an innocent bunny. I'm just an uh, innocent bunny. Just doing a little bit of bunny stuff. Slam. Get him from behind. Get him in the rear. Put it deep inside and turn him into the hook. I am having fun today. Other than I keep muting out because my dogs are going bark bork bork crazy and then Ugh. Like, my allergies and sinuses are all jank, so it keeps sounding like I'm drowning on my own sinus or something. I'm 
like how these guys aren't worth like any more experience than the other guys, and they're harder to kill. That's the church, isn't it? Where the hell is the orphanage? Is it this? Demons, the winged whale protects this ground. Yarg. Oh, no, you don't. Parado. Let's go, guys. take my flaming punishment up his butthole, and then he died. Anyways, Parado says, wow, that's gonna stay in the morning. You might consider your age after and try a different tactic, sister. Don't worry about me, Parado. Ward and Hope are missing. Wait, youch. That's gonna do more than staying. You stay here and we'll track down the kids. We'll make the orphanage a safe haven for civilians. Pyrox, Perido, hold the entrance, no matter what. Chalcedony, move out in a standard grid search pattern. Look for stragglers and bring them here. Moving from courier to commando is an interesting career choice. You want to fill us in? I'm the CEO, remember? Bossing people around comes with the territory. Um, sorry for kidnapping you guys um, multiple times. Please, save the kids. They give a bit of lip and pull the occasional prank, but they're good people. Don't worry, we'll find them. A bit of lip? Sheesh. Oh, fine. We'll save the little hellions. We'll lead the remaining civilians to shelter here. I leave the rest to you, core meteor. Look, over there. Some annoying bastards. Please make Hope's cough go away. Oh, winged whale, if you can hear us, please guide our prayer to the goddess in the forest of thorns. Thank you, Mr. Whale. Ugh, teaching kids to be religious is deplorable at best. Ward says, okay, that should be enough. Let's get you home. Yeah. Rarg, says one of the soldiers. It's great that they want to kill children. Who the heck are you freak shows? Hope, get behind me. I'm not afraid of you. You should be, dumbass. This army is a bunch of bullies. How about you pick on us? Oh. Did they just turn to stone? They have expended all their energy and became calcified as a result. So, they're statues? How is that possible? When a life form has its spiria depleted by Zerums, they revert to such a state. People who lose their spiria become statues? So if Zerums keep spreading, what'll happen to the rest of the world? Oh my gosh, it'll happen to me. I'm gonna be a big paperweight, aren't I? Query rejected. <laughs> Let me guess, it's classified. Uh, what isn't classified is these young kids. You really stood tall back there, son. Well, that's what you do when someone smaller than you is in trouble. Plus, those soldiers don't scare me. Uh, good boy. That's actually terrible advice, because he could have died. Anyways, enough back padding. Get yourself to the orphanage. There's a war happening. But I have to keep coming here every day, or hope won't get any better. What do you mean? People say that a prayer offered on this beach for a thousand days in a row will always be answered. They say the winged whale in the sky will take your prayer to the goddess who sleeps in the forest of thorns. The goddess. Hope's pretty sick, so I pray every day. Such superstition has no basis in science or logic. Exactly. Shut up. I, I know, okay, but it's the only thing that I know how to do. If I was a grown-up, I'd be a doctor or a merchant. But I'm a kid, so that's all I can do. Gaul says, it's not useless. 
If you keep at it, your friend will get better. Fat lot of good it does me. I can't come back here tomorrow because of the war. The winged whale swims across the sky and hears you no matter where you are. All you need to do is pray. Now go back to the orphanage. Everyone's worried about you. Your reasoning lacks all semblance of logic. There is no winged whale, nor a goddess to whom it might report. I'm not so sure, Kunzite. I mean, Lithia kept her body asleep for 2,000 years, right? Speaking of which, all this talk about a goddess and a thorn forest has me thinking. Cease your mysterious musing and elaborate. Never mind. It's nothing. Boink. The Crystal Knights can't lose to an army of grunts, as you are face down dying. Ah! Impossible. These monstrosities fight with more ferocity than my own Crystal Knights. Is this the power of Eola or Lithia? Damn you, Grasalar. Nyarg. The soldier turned into a pillar of salt. What witchery is this? There's no time to be concerned with that. Let's get out of here. Grossular says there's no escape for you. Tell me, does it pain you to see your somatic peons rendered obsolete? Why not surrender and save what little face you have remaining? You're right, I have no choice. Let us negotiate. When I'm so close to a victory, you must take me for a fool. Then I surrender on the condition that you spare the lives of my knights and the citizens of Prinsur. I agree. There can be no mercy for your son, though. No, you can't possibly. Hey, everybody, we're back. You idiots, we've been worried sick about you. What if you got hurt or killed? Then I'd never be able to give you the beating that you deserve. The last of the civilians have been evacuated. One family is apparently quite familiar with you. Kunzi. Guess what? Those army guys all... turned into swords or something. I don't know. I hate that little girl. She's annoying. There's Chasadoni. What the fuck was he doing? I was on every screen and saw him nowhere. He was just jerking it off screen. His fetish is watching a bunch of people die, I guess. Anyways, thanks for watching over Annaberg and her family. Ah, yes, you must be referring to the family with the loquacious young daughter. You made quite the impression on her. Well... Enough. We have no time for idle chatter. I just received word that the church surrendered. All crystal knights are to enter the army's custody at once. I intend to obey. You can't. Who knows what they're planning for you? Something unpleasant, no doubt, but I sowed the seeds of this war and I must take responsibility, such as the path of the knight. You should turn your concerns closer to home, for the army pursues you still. I suggest making a hasty retreat. Pyrox, Perido, I thank you for your service. My final order is this. Escape with Kor. I will not, even if you choose to make a final stand against the whole army by yourself. Just my luck, getting assigned to a platoon full of people with death wishes. Count me in. Surrender, fight, I'm along for the ride. It seems my subordinates are as crazy as you guys. Farewell, Kor. We will never meet again. Goodbye, Chasidoni. Oh, hell's bells. Pyrox, great minds think alike. While me, we could receive clemency, but he will not. Uh, we'll present ourselves to the army in his stead. Now please, get him out of here. He's going to be ticked off when he wakes up, but he's a good person. So, thanks in advance. Alright. If you guys want to get out of the city, 
go this way. What are those rascals up to? Let's find out. You slowpokes, over here, we're your ticket out. Here's a secret path that Peridot found, and you have the honor of being the first non-orphans to find out. I guess it's more of a tree, but you can climb it over the wall. Okay, so I guess we're climbing a tree. Thanks, guys. Yeah, how are they going to climb a tree with an unconscious person in their arms? Hey, you can't be out here. The city's under martial law. This war has left many injured. Allow us to offer up a song of comfort in honor of the Spiria's wounded in the conflict. Uh... Ahem, stop this. Just let him sing. Okie dokie. Are you alright, little girl? Yeah, I'm okay, but why are you crying? Just reminiscing. I joined the army to make the world a peaceful place. Now look at what we've done. Please forgive us. In Karose, show yourself. Yeah, called? You trickster. Why wasn't I warned about the petrification? It appears the Zerum possession process was not yet complete. Consider it trial and error. I lost a thousand men to trial and error. Yes, but without such soldiers, you would still be huddled outside the gates of Prinsur. General Grossular, sir, I brought that high priest Ackerman. In Karose, so you're the puppet master. Silence, traitor. You'll speak only with my permission. Damn you. If you knew this witch's true motives, you would see that she's playing you for a fool. You sold your soul to the devil. Ha! The sad whimpers of a beaten dog. The vessel is prepared, the bait is ready. The day that the moon becomes full will be upon us shortly, says Incarose. Who I suspect is a robot like Kunzite, but I don't quite remember. Beryl says, hey, it really does lead out of here. Wow, they're punishing Beryl. <laughs> What's the point in escaping if you're just gonna kill me? Okay, that definitely would have killed me. The nerve. You're the idiot standing where everybody's jumping down. Chasadon is like, where am I? Oh no, they didn't. Kor says, wait, it was for a good reason. They were going to execute you. I know that. It doesn't matter. It's the path that I chose. What about Ms. Tourmaline, then? Do you not care what happens to her? Look, it doesn't matter. Right now we need to get out of here. It is, as you say, I cannot abandon the Empress in her time of need. It's good we made it out of Prinsur, but what do we do now? The same thing we've been doing. Get Kohaku shards back. Plus, I want to meet this Lithia person who was living in Urspiria. After all, she may have the power to send the Zerums packing. The way I see it, once we get your core fixed, we'll have a shot of stopping despair and the conflict. So yeah, I think we should just stick with what we're already doing. Thanks, core. Well, I'll be. There is a brain in that head of yours. West, is it? Are there any towns over there? Only a port in the sea, to my knowledge. So the last shard is at the bottom of the sea? This could be tough. Can you give us anything more to go on? Well, I think it's moving, but slowly. Almost like it's drifting. Maybe it's on a boat. Yeah, good thinking. Chasodoni says, I shall aid on your quest. 
You saved my life, so I owe you a debt, and the chance to save the Empress will arise if I'm patient. But until then, you shall have my assistance in restoring her core. Our merry crew just got merrier. Let's head west and find the port. Uh, he's gonna do a Mystic Arts tutorial. Haku Shard is on the sea. We should charter a vessel before the army has time to make this situation worse. Ina says, good idea, let's ask around.
Well, I'll be, if it's not my favorite customers, what brings you out here? We should ask you that. Business cratered once the church and army started cratering each other. Can't even get through Prinsur anymore. Which means the only way for me to transport my certain products is from the north and by sea. Specialty product? What are you referring to? Heh, <laughs> this knight must be the newest member of your little gang. As for the product, I think Inez here knows what it is. Uh, sure. If you know where to look for it, you can get it right away. Speaking of which, Garnet, we need a boat. Preferably yours. I don't suppose you have room for us. Old Garnet always has room to spare, as long as you're willing to pay the fare. But I'm not ready to ship out just yet. The cargo, cargo needs to be loaded. And if you haven't figured it out, said cargo happens to be the famed Ambrosia, known as Northport Wine. The shipment is currently stored at a warehouse near the port entrance. If you move it on the ship, I'll take you where you need to go. Sound like a plan? Sounds good to us. Where are you headed? We don't know. It's somewhere on the sea. A mystery cruise? Well, there's a map in the cabin. Just point to where you want to go and I'll take it from there. Are you coming, Inez? Sure. I'll help find the shard while Kor get the cargo. Kor gets the cargo, rather. Leave the heavy lifting to us. Kor, wait. I think you might... Uh, never mind. Just be careful, okay? Inez, we just got done fighting the army and the church. How hard can moving a few boxes be? She knows something that we don't, I suppose. here to load the ship. I feel something. The somatic bond. Something is wrong. Kohaku's in trouble. We should abandon our task and check on her. Everyone, get back to the ship! So, maybe Garnet kidnapped her? Blast! It's the Imperial Army. They must have tracked us here. Tell us what you did. Garnet? I was hoping to minimize casualties, but you can't say I didn't try. Core, it's Inez. I should have known this rat was working for those army dogs. Time to kill a rodent. And a thank. You guys were my favorite customers. Garnet says, disarm this rabble. Oh my. Did he say Spec Ops Soma Unit? That means the army has somatics working for them. Incorrect. They have a single somatic. One is no threat to many. Oh my. Allow me to introduce my associates. This is Geochron and Major Inez. Oh no, she's with the army. Hang your horses. You mean this whole time you've been lying to us? Afraid so. My mission was to ascertain the hidden power of Kohaku Spiria and see that Spec Ops gained control of it. How could you? Well, it's my job, Kor. And on that note, if you surrender, I swear you won't be harmed. What are you power-hungry jerks gonna do with Kohaku? What else is there to do? We'll wipe the slate and start over. You've seen how the church and the army are acting? Barbarians, all of them, and the rest of the world isn't any better. 
both the powerful and the plebeian have fallen into selfish disarray. I fear this stagnant peace is corrupting their spiria. The Zerums and the are the sword by which we will cleave this rotten empire in twain, and usher forth a new, more noble age of Spiria. And I, Azide Silver, commander of the Imperial Spec Ops, shall be the one to usher in this glorious new dawn. I should thank you, Kor. Because of your constant meddling, both the army and church have been forced to expend their forces. With Lithia's power under our command, a single strike by my unit will be enough to topple the entire empire. History holds many tales of men like you with false delusions of grandeur. I can recall one in particular. Silence, says somebody. I thought you would have rusted away by now, Kunzite. Of course, there is still plenty of time for that. This entire plan has been orchestrated by Incarose. Incarose, you're with these guys? Ah. Oh my. Stop, I'll go with you. Just leave my friends alone. So if I take this boy hostage, you will obey. Kill all of them except for this kid. It shall be done. Is this betrayal, Major? You forget yourself. You take orders from Colonel Silver and no one else. I... I've been watching you closely, Kor, and I'm rather impressed. Maybe you and your friend should come with us. Once we've awakened Lithia's physical body, we will return Kohaku unharmed. You have my word on this. Your word? I want nothing to do with a man who would unleash Zerums. And much less someone who joins up with my grandfather's murderer. Hmm, a pity. Well, perhaps not. After all, we do need to test our Zerum possessed soldiers. Form up, men. Rarg, destroy them. All that work these were just easy enemies, I guess. Hilarious. Oh, it's tagged as for spoken, that's my fault. Yeah. Alright, it's fixed now. Let's see. My commendation for easily besting these somatics. They were the finest soldiers in my whole army. Oh, for hell's sakes, now it's him. He has it. Is this what you seek? All right, buddy, hand it over. A convincing argument, though I fear I cannot comply. We need this to learn the mystery of the Zerums. Major, silence these civilians. No, since they refuse to cooperate, put them down. Colonel, no. Odd, and here I thought the superior officer gave orders. Fine, they shall be put down then. Inez, you can't be serious. I'm sorry, Kor, I'm quite serious. Your spear is gone soft, Kor. You can't protect anyone like that. Not even yourself. I don't want to fight you, Inez. Kunzite says all who threaten Master Lithia must be eliminated. Open your eyes, Meteor. She's the enemy. You open yours. Half of us are hurt. This thing was over before it started. And we're all gonna die if we don't get the heck out of here. Well played, Beryl. Colonel, I got this. I shall follow. No, Inez will be fine. We served since the academy, and she's never failed me. Prepare for departure. We're going to Lignatore. And so our trip to the Forest of Thorns begins. I must witness their final moment, says Incarose. Yeesh, people just be getting kidnapped every five minutes in this game. Beryl says, ouch. Aw oh, man, we're still at the port. I guess I can only jump so far with this much baggage. 
You can't get away this time, but at least I'll be the one to end it. Now get ready. Ah, oh, damn it to hell. We have no choice. Yes, we do. If we work together, we can overpower her, but not actually kill her. Error. Anything short of lethal force will result in failure. Beryl says, I'm not even sure lethal force will do it. Look at her guys. Eyes, guys. This isn't the Inez we remember. Ironic that the artist is the only one who can see reality. Oh my. Are you really doing this, Inez? You're gonna wipe the world clean? Is that why you lied to us? Honestly, Kor, I don't give a damn about the world. I'm in this to give one person a chance to start over. And I need Kohaku's power to do that. You mean Silver? Yes, I want to save him as much as you want to save Kohaku. The Empire stole everything from him, and now his Spiria is filled with nothing but vengeance and hate. I will give everything I have to heal him, and to see his dream come true. Okay. Oh, she moves. She just wants my main man core. I guess I overrated myself. You guys are pretty tough when you need to be. It's time to stop lying to yourself, Inez. Earlier you said my Spiria had gone soft, but yours was even softer. You don't really want to do this, do you? Get out of here before more thugs show up. I'll tell Silver that I took you out and it'll buy you a little bit of time, and I promise I'll make sure Kohaku's okay. I said it's time to stop lying, Inez. You just got done saying you want to save Silver as much as I want to save Kohaku. Let's go show him your true feelings. If you do that, everything will be okay. You think he'll listen to me? Of course. Wanderlust Inc. can deliver anything, feelings included. What the? I feel your Spiria. I didn't know Somos could do this. I feel your Spiria as well, Inez. I feel the pain of being trapped between Silver and us, and also your kindness. She has turned, just as expected. Human Spiria is a weak and pathetic thing. This is for you, Gramps. Maybe not. I'm afraid I'm not able to kill you just yet. If your Spiria is as true as you claim, you should be ready for a test. Take the vessel from us if you can, and bring the traitor with you. It will save us hunting her down. I'll be waiting. Come back, coward. Um, yeah, this is awkward. You guys don't mind if I tag along, do you? It's like Gramp said. Always stop to help those in trouble, especially if they're a well-endowed beauty. Your combat abilities and strategic mind are integral to Master Lithia's rescue, even if by force you're coming. Kor's grandfather seems like a pretty wise cat. 
I bet we'd have gotten along. I shall defer to the judgment of the majority in this matter. Delivering Inez's feelings to the colonel is going to be one heck of a courier job. So if we pull it off, that makes us square. Hold on, if grumpy old Hisui here can get off the hook, then I want to keep my Soma too. This is going to leave me poorer than a lifeguard in winter. Ah, what the heck. Thanks, guys. It's core meteor style from here on out. Not trying, only doing. Hold on, Kohaku. We're on the way. I sense her spiria moving south across the water. I can feel it too. She's being taken to Lignatore, the Imperial Garrison. You're all more than a little familiar with it. By now, the Spec Ops Soma unit will have it locked down tighter than my old coin purse. How do we proceed? We head back to Hansalar and ask the Guildmaster for help. You gotta be f kidding me. That guy's as slippery as an eel. The Guildmaster is one of Spec Ops' main suppliers. Under the table, of course. If we can work something out with him, we might be able to sneak into the fortress without Silver catching on. It's not like I have a better plan. We'll do it your way, Inez. Looks like the ship is arriving in port. Let's see if the crew will let us hitch a ride. Another fantastic voyage in the books, says Captain Aqua. The winged whale has been looking out for us lately. Well, if it isn't my little somatic landlubber, what brings you here? This is a marine company boat, right? Do you happen to know when it's heading back to Hanselar? Uh, we're hoisting anchor the second our freight is offloaded. Looks like we found our ride. Just my luck, having to ride in this gigantic puke canister again. Oh well. Anything for my sis, I guess. Got some titles, and we're moving forward. Sui says, remind me to never ride that thing again. I hear you, says Beryl. Welcome back, you're slightly ahead of schedule, says Coral. The winged whale saw fit to aid our travels with favorable wind, and we picked up a wee bit of flotsam along the way. Hi Coral, any chance we can talk to the guildmaster? We have an offer that he won't be able to refuse. There's always time to talk business, you'll find him at the company office. I thought that would be harder, considering Shorty here spent so much time trying to whack him. The Guildmaster gave us instructions to let Ms. Lawrenson through were she ever to arrive. He's a shrewd businessman, but he's got a soft spot for the ladies. Inez says, come on guys, let's go make a deal. If anyone can get us into Lignatore, it's him. Am I the only one that thinks we're about to make a deal with the devil, says Beryl? Inez, baby, you look fantastic. Hold on, let me clear my calendar and we can plan a date. You wish, you crusty old coot. Yar, if it isn't the future painter, what's troubling you this time? Tired of being a wanted criminal? Why, you? Inez says, well, at least we don't have to explain that part. We have our proposal. I know your ships move supplies to the Spec Ops Soma unit at Lignatore. We need one, sailors and all. Specs? Supplies? You must have me confused with somebody else. Oh, who am I kidding? You're too clever to be reeled in by such tricks. What's in it for me? Cora says, listen, we need to. And he says, you need to belay your mouth when the adults are talking, lad. Business isn't your forte. Spec Ops has a hidden stash of about 10 billion gold, and I can tell you where it is, says Inez. 
As you might guess, the money wasn't obtained through official channels, and it's off the books. If you find it, it's yours. All the gold in the world is no use to a dead man. They would kill me before breakfast. Yeah, but after we're done in Lignatore, there won't be a Spec Ops. Well, blow my barnacles, and I thought they were the dreamers. Still, the more logical choice is to hand you over and make a name for myself in their brave new world. So you know what Colonel Silver is planning, then? I've been supplying him. I have my suspicions. He's doing terrible things to people's spirias. He has to be stopped. Remember when I said strength comes from doubt, lad? Your theory means nothing to me if there's no profit in it. Yeah, well, if you like doubt so much, you should doubt Silver's chances of beating us. Big words from a shrimp. You really think you can take him out on his own turf? Sir, some men from the Imperial Army's Spec Ops unit are here to see you about the shipment. Send them in. Ha! <laughs> you slimy shark! You should be nicer to the man who's saving you from walking the plank. Get out of here. I'll send a ship and crew to the port. Use them however you see fit. Thanks, Guildmaster. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm in it for the cash. Oh, and if you end up in a lignatory torture chamber, we never met. Got it? Ha, the fine print comes with a pain clause. Don't worry about me. I know how to keep my mouth shut. Oh, really? I'll have to take your word for it. Don't let me down, Kor. Sorry for the wait. I was hammering out a deal with a new client and got caught up in the thrill of it. The next shipment is all packed and ready to sail. That's hilarious. Talk about your clever getaway plans. Talk about your crooks. No honest person has an escape hatch. It got us out of trouble, didn't it? More t power to him, I say. The Guildmaster has filled us in on your particulars. Please, this way. We have a ship and crew waiting for you down at the port. Well, I'll be. Looks like we're the proud owners of our very own ship. Thankfully, the... Computer crashing didn't interrupt an edit, nor did it... Interrupt an upload to YouTube, so I was like, what the heck caused it to bounce out like that. Who knows? I know nothing. I am a mere bunny rabbit. Anyways, we gotta get back up to the port, which is way up here. Yeah, I wasn't sure if anyone from the Discord was watching. I know somebody was on, so... I was like, oh, just in case it was you. Oh yeah, that's a good thing. It occasionally does happen, though, unfortunately, where I'll lose something like... Usually it's something, like, big, unfortunately. Because I do pretty long broadcasts. I think the worst thing that ever happened was I lost, like, a four-hour video. That was pretty annoying. Because redoing, like, that much stuff is, like, ugh. But it was due to a power outage. And I was streaming in a storm, so... I think the real culprit was me all along. I saw these, like, backup generator things at Costco, but I was like, I don't think the internet will keep rolling if the power goes out, so I don't know. But we use Verizon's internet now, and it works off cellular, so... It might very well just keep on trucking. Well, 
Well, this is it, says Coral. Wait a second, I know this ship. And a fine one she is, too. You must be the new owners. And I know this captain. You asked for a ship with a capable crew, didn't you? Capable? We're the most savvy, swashbuckling shellbacks to ever brave the briny blue. Apologies, Miss Marine. I meant no offense. Ms. Marine? You mean there's more of them? Yeah, this is the Guildmaster's daughter. Which reminds me, I have an invoice for you. An invoice? That wasn't part of the deal. It's a toll for using the escape passage. I'm almost impressed. My father will charge you for breathing air in his office if you aren't careful. Luckily, I'm a little bit more forgiving. Man overboard, what's a lost passenger or two? Yes, my Speria is as light and calm as the sea breeze. Someone get me away from this family. Complaining is a low priority activity. Let's board. Come on, guys. Kohaku is waiting. Actually, I kind of wanted to... I don't think I ever gave him a f fancy outfit. And yes, that's important. Fancy outfits take high priority here on the Bunny Channel. <laughs> if I can figure out how to do it. Jesus Christ. I'm just having one of those days. Oh my god, he's Buzz Lightyear. Oh, he can be repeated. Mecca Butler. This is just so gay and ridiculous that that's how it's gonna be. We're gonna do that. Well, he'll keep his gay little hat if I don't put an attachment on him, so we'll just go with that. You won't be able to turn back once we depart for Lignatore. Are you ready? Why not? You made your own potato chips? It's not that hard. Potato, oil, salt, oven. It is kind of annoying, though, that you have to, like, lay them out flat, and then, you know, you don't get, like, a huge yield if you don't have a big oven or multiple cookie trays. I think I'm getting used to the swing. Nope. <clears throat> now that we've cleared the current, we'll be at Lignatore soon. I guess we should hide ourselves in the cargo. Come on, that'll never work. It's the oldest trick in the book. I worked for Kunzite back in Prinsur. Isn't this... This isn't some roadside checkpoint. Spec Ops will use willstones to search incoming supplies. Perhaps we should have considered this stage of the plan before setting sail. It's time for drastic action. I have a potent compound of umbrican extract that will temporarily stop your spiria. By stop, I assume you mean kill. I take it that extract is... Yep, it's poison. If you drink too much, you can kiss yourself goodbye. I know it's hard for you to trust me, especially on something like this, but it's the only way in. I'll take the first drink. The rest of you can follow or not as you see fit. We already decided. I'm not letting that kid show me up. Blah, 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 blah. Drinking some poison. I will shut down in 30 seconds, says Kunzite. <laughs> Hilarious. Do we just hit the power button? And if you're trying to not die, you'd need, like, a very specific dose. Wow, they really trust you. Yep, that's how they work, but I wouldn't squander this trust. I'll share what they've given me with him. I must sound like such a hopeless idiot right now. Not to me. See, I'm a sailor, just like my father. And I know it's not wind or waves that move a ship forward, but the crew... and the trust that binds them together. Can I leave the rest to you? Sure can. I'll wrap you up in a big bow, like a present for that special someone. I would soak them in cream cheese, not cream cheese, sour cream, and then I'd put like shredded cheese over it, and then it would be fancy melty chips. Stand back, only spec ops are permitted to enter. Are you daft? I'm with the marine company. We're here to deliver the cargo that you ordered. We're aware of who you are. However, cargo must be inspected. No, no exceptions. Get back on the ship before we put you there. 
Hey, are you giving our captain guff? Fine, fine, it's all yours. I'm picking up a life form inside the cargo. Oh, it's just a rat. That's odd. Marine company shipments are usually pretty clean. No other Spiria signatures are detected. You can carry it inside. You lot are to leave as scheduled. Even a minute's delay may lead to your immediate arrest as a potential threat. This place is locked down tighter than my old man's wallet. Looks like these guys are on their own. Keep an eye on them for me, will you, winged whale? More like winged bunny. I don't know nothing about no motherfucking whales. Apparently, the mother's awakening is proceeding well. Yes, soon she will completely awaken, and the power to topple this feeble empire will finally be ours. Then the sun will set on a new world filled only with people of pure and noble Spiria. Ya mama. Ah! That would hurt like fuck. Anyways, tell me the secret of your Spiria. I see you're encountering difficulties. Apologies, sir. Kohaku, listen to me. No one is coming. No one will save you. Inez has already tracked down and killed your little friends. Kor isn't dead, and you're wrong about Inez. She's correct. Lorenzen has turned against you and is likely headed here now. I'm not in the mood for your particular brand of humor in Kurose. It's not a joke, Colonel Silver. You've been betrayed. Enough. I refuse to believe it. Inez would never turn against me. She didn't. She's coming here to tell you something important, says Kohaku. I can feel her through my Soma. Nonsense. Somas are merely weapons and nothing more. Though in your case, you don't even need a Soma to understand how she feels. But you refused to accept her and closed off your Spiria. And that's why she's coming. Enough of this. Extract the girl's secret by any means necessary. Yes, sir. But do not kill her, says Inkarose. This is the end for you, girl. One dance with Lieutenant Strygov, and you'll be begging to tell us your secrets. This is a fine opportunity to demonstrate the torture methods of a professional. Now then, the human body has a remarkably high threshold for pain. However, unexpected pain you see is different, and continued application brings with it the fear of further pain. This corrodes Spiria much faster than pain alone. Kohaku says, this is nothing. Stragov says, I do not even need to ask the questions. The subject knows what I want of her, and when she tells me, the fear ends. Torture, you see, is not the act of causing suffering of the flesh. It is the task of breaking the, seer the spiria. Kor, Hisui, please help me. Num num nummy nummy num num chips. It appears you successfully rebooted. Where are we? One of the storage facilities in the upper floors. I feel like the floor of a pub. I don't want to temporarily die again. No worries, if we screw this up, we'll die for real. That's not an improvement. Prisoners are in the lower levels. We'd better find Kohaku and fast. Hey, someone's taken out security. We've got intruders. Sound the alarm. Alert level alpha. Enemies inbound from both directions. Number estimated in the tens. I suppose we can hide here. We'd be goners without your key, Inez. Is this your room? No. It belongs to Colonel Silver's daughter, Lapis. Wait, Silver has a daughter? Oh wait, are you the mom? Oh, good gravy, no. It isn't that kind of relationship. You guys want to put a sock in it? You'll wake the kid. <coughs> no, we won't. She's been asleep for three years. Does she have despair? We don't know. It started when Lapis and her mother, Pearl, Colonel Silver's wife, were in an accident. The army was testing out a giant willstone cannon to use against the church, and it exploded. I seem to recall such an incident. 
the accident occurred during the first public testing, many lives were lost. Colonel Silver helped design the cannon, and he knew it was flawed. He tried to stop the test firing, but the army wouldn't let him. They were blinded by their own hatred of the Valentine Church. They essentially took the engineer's family hostage and forced them to witness the test. What happened to Pearl? She died. She was right in front of... She was right in the front. Pearl always believed in her husband, right up until the very end. Lapis survived somehow, but the shock of the explosion put her in the state you see now. I don't suppose this is a problem that can be solved with a Soma. We tried again and again. Well, one more time couldn't hurt. You want to try? I have... You have some of the strongest spirits I've ever seen. Maybe that would be enough to turn the tide. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that, it's a bunny. I've never seen a Spiria Nexus this small. Lapis Spiria Nexus lacks a core and we don't know why. And her Nexus itself has been growing smaller over time. The subject exhibits symptoms similar to Kohaku, wherein the absence of a core causes the Spiria to degenerate. When this occurs, the Spiria will shrink. Yeah, but Kohaku at least had one shard. I don't see anything here. Complete dissipation of Asperia should dictate that the Nexus disappeared as well, so I cannot determine the cause. It's a bad sign when even our walking encyclopedia is at a loss. Uh-oh, someone's in the room. I'm sorry, I haven't been to see you lately, Lapis. That's Silver. Daddy will wake you up. I promise, you just have to hold on a little longer. Can you be a big girl and do that for me? Once I have the knowledge of the Ancients, once I have Lithia's power, I can make you all better. And as soon as you're better, I'll topple the Maximus Empire and give this country to you as a present. I know Mommy isn't around anymore, but you can still be a real princess. How does that sound? You're always loved... Oh, you have always loved to draw princesses. And now Daddy will make you one for real. Sweet dreams, Sleeping Beauty. I just need a little bit more time. Gaul says, I have a daughter. You do? She's been gone for 20 years. I lost her to despair when she was younger than Lapis, her and my wife both. That's why I became a somatic, to rid the world of despair forever. I can't stand to see kids in pain like this. Hisui says, guess that explains why it only took one look at Kohaku for you to come with us. No motivation or anything. Ah, uh, that's enough about me. Nobody wants to hear an old man rattle on about the past. So, sorry to backtrack, but don't all little girls want to be princesses? Why is Silver taking it so seriously? It's kind of nuts if you ask me, but also sad. He has to hold on to some kind of hope, and that's the one that he chose. He's just misguided by tales of Lithia's power, dreams of revenge, and hope of bringing Lapis back. All because of Incarose. Actually, that's not true. I'm partially to blame because I couldn't save him from his own hatred. I think I'm starting to understand why you fell for him. We can still save him, you know, and we will, for Lapis' sake, as well as his own. So Incarose informed Silver of Lithia. Then perhaps it is as I expected. He is my other primary objective. Meanwhile, elsewhere, Strigov says your Spiria is impressive. It's not often that a subject's voice gives out before their will, but such tenacity only feeds my desire to hear your Spiria break. Kor says, Kohaku, oh no, Kor, everybody. Strigov, you bastard. Ah, the traitor has returned. Still, such things are of no concern to me, as long as my work will proceed. There's still so much fun to be had. You're all dead, you hear me? Hisui's right. You don't deserve to live after what you've done. All who harm the vessel of my master will be eliminated. 
This is for Kohaku. Ah! They took out the lieutenant. No matter, if we are to usher in our new and pure world, we must stand our ground. Yarg, we will break your spirias just like we broke hers. These soldiers went through an even more refined Zerum possession process, so they still have their wits, so stay sharp. Doesn't matter if I cut them into pieces. Not done, remember? Until you're in pieces. Kor, please stop. They're victims, too. I'm sorry, Kohaku. We tried to get here sooner. Heh, <laughs> the Zerum possessed Spec Ops forces are coming for you now. Tremble before our Speria. Zerum pos processed. Uh, yeah, whatever. We can't hold off the entire base with Kohaku in this kind of shape. We better get out of here. We can't leave until we get the shard. This has to end now, Inez. Lead us to silver. You really are something. Here you are, just about half dead, and you still want to push on. We'll find Colonel Silver at the lowest level of the base. It's where everything began. You heard her, guys. We need to head down. What the heck is that thing? That is a Mother Zerum. It's the monster responsible for spawning Zerums. A Mother Zerum, is it? They're the source of all despair in the world, and you can thank Inkarose for resurrecting them. That's a bad trip if I've ever heard one. What's in the water over there? I don't know. Maybe some newly discovered artifact? Correct, Major. It's the doorway to the Forest of Thorns, where the body of Lithia, the legendary Manarin, awaits. Oh my. That leads to the Forest of Thorns? Let me tell you a little story. In the Stone Age, the world was ruled by an alien race with bodies made out of crystal. The aliens, called the Manarins, invented many weapons of will, including Zerum, Somas, and your mechanical friend over there. All of these are controlled by the Forest of Thorns, and the Manarin, known as Lithia, is the key to reactivating it. Of course, I'm not telling the Mechanoid anything it doesn't already know. What I know is that you're another petty human bent on exploiting technology for their own ambition. Not ambition, ideals. I wish to mold this world into a utopia filled with noble and true spirias, and cause, and such a cause requires great power. What it does not require, however, is the weak and vulgar spirias of traitors. Such blights will be purged now. Permit me the honor, says Inkurose. Colonel, explain yourself. Did I not say traitors would be purged? The Zerum possession technology you provided the army far exceeds my specifications. If Inez had not finished off... Porcupine, rampaging Zeromized soldiers would be tearing the world apart as we speak. I surmised your plan from the start. You meant to dispose of me and claim Lithia's power for yourself. Silver, you bastard. Kor says you killed her. Now then, where were we? Ah, yes. Major Lorenzen is still pointing her soma at me. Azide, please, you have to stop this. You're making a huge mistake. Do you remember when we first met? It was that lake next to the academy. You were cutting class to take a nap. You were kind enough to split your lunch with me. Even now, I remember how awful your cooking was. I didn't split anything with you. You took it and ate the whole damn thing. All day, I kept getting weird looks because my stomach wouldn't stop growling. Ha, huh, perhaps I misremember it. Still, I stayed up all night studying and was absolutely famished. How time flies. Things used to be simple back then. You can say that again. And do you not see, Inez, how simple things are once more? I now know there is only room for two in my Speria, Pearl and Lapis. 
As for you, Major Inez, you must pay for treason. How fitting that our place of parting shall be by the water as well. Kohaku says, Silver, wait. Listen to Inez. You owe her that much. Inez says, It's too late, Kohaku. Without Pearl and Lapis at the Colonel's side, I'm the only one left who can stop him. But my power alone won't be enough. Please lend my Soma your strength. You got it. Let's knock some sense into him. And get the car, the core shard back. All systems prompt for combat. I'm all in. I'd like a word or three with this cat about all the despair he's been cooking up. Be he Zerum possessed or no, we must stop him here. Zerum possession maddens the Spiria and permits transcendence of physical limits, and yet, you dealt with many of my men. Facing eight such somatics at once seems to me a rather one-sided struggle. My victory will require a new approach, one that takes Zerum possession far beyond what you've ever seen. Behold, the fusion of man and Zerum into the perfect warrior. Oh, he's gonna put the mother Zerum in it? Okay. Neato. Why are we watching while he does this, by the way? This is no possession. Flesh and Spiria have become one, tapping into a limitless potential. This looks serious. Do not grieve, friends, for I shall stamp out your miserable lives long before you can experience the sensation of pain. I've lost. Though my body may break, I will never concede. Impossible. Calcification is a fate reserved for the weak-willed, for those whose Spiria has fallen to the Zerum. My Spiria bends to no will but mine. Such factors are irrelevant. Zerums are will weapons engineered to devour any and all Spiria. For you to think otherwise would suggest that Incarose had deceived you. And my men, will they share the same grisly end? Have I turned their loyalty into mere fodder for the Zerum? Then all the more reason I cannot permit myself to fail. He wants to fight again? We're about tapped out here. Azide, no, you have to stop this. Ah, Inez. It seems he protected her in the end. 
I have done for you what I could not for my deal, dear Pearl and Lapis. I failed them, Inez. I pushed for the Willstone Cannon's test firing to proceed. What? I thought you wanted it stopped. No, the blame is mine alone. I was the engineer and had great faith in my creation. I could have stopped the test no matter how much the brass wanted it, but I was seduced by the allure of success, the allure of glory. And in my greed for such fleeting prizes, I lost the two things I loved most. Curse this brittle spiria of mine. This weak and wretched spiria. No, stop saying that. No one has a more noble spiria than you. What is this light? This warmth? Kohaku's core shard is reacting with your spiria. This warmth is no different from the light that shines inside you. It's you, Azide. The you that Pearl and Lapis knew and the you that I know still. Let's stop this senseless fighting, we can find another way. And how shall I atone for my sins, the lives I've taken, and the guilt that I bear? Give half to me, I'm a courier, remember? There's no load I can't take. Together we can find a way to bear up under the weight of any burden. Thank you, Inez. Look, a somatic bond. What just happened? Well, dip me in butter and chow down. The calcification and the zerum fusion are gone. According to my databanks, this is the first case of a subject recovering from calcification. The power of their somas appear to have restored what spiria was consumed by the zerum. Core, return this shard to Kohaku. Oh my. Silver says, yeah. And Kurose says, I have something to return to you. Azide, no. Inez, promise me that you'll look after Lapis. I'm sorry I ate your lunch. You can't die. Not like this. Uh oh. How fitting that your place of parting is by the water. Damn you, Inkurose. Inez finally got through to Silver and you killed him. You're a monster. I did, and now you must take this shard as well as revenge for your grandfather's life. But you're too weak for either. Show me your anger, your hate. First Gramps and now Silver. What are you going to do about it? やる。お前は後片もなく消し去ってやる。死ぬ。月は満ちた。That was incredible, Kor. Kinda freaky, but mostly incredible. You think she's getting up again? As Inkurose is also a mechanoid, the probability is very low. At her current specifications, a reboot would be impossible after such damage. That witch is a tin man too? Why didn't you tell us? The majority of data pertaining to Inkurose and her master is designated top secret. I'm unable to reveal it to a third party. Enough talk. Let me return the shard to Kohaku and bring Lithia back. Thanks for avenging the Colonel, Kor. I owe you. Count on me, Kohaku. I feel her, Kor. She's back inside me. What's that, Lithia? What are you saying? It can't be. Why? Is something wrong? You look pretty pale. Perhaps Master Lithia's Spiria is not fully restored. It's restored. And on that note, welcome back, Lithia. No, it can't be. Creed Graphite? 
Does some enemy yet live? I don't sense one. You don't understand. It's core. Calm down. What do you know of this person? I'll thank you to use my full name, Mechanoid. Oh no. We're evil now. You aren't core anymore. You're him. Ha ha ha. Unpinned yourself from the ceiling, I see. I'm surprised you're still functioning. I had recorded Meteor's techniques in previous battles, so I was able to avoid being struck in a vital area. Leading them here to this place at this time, however, proved to be more difficult. But there shall be no more troubles now that you are here, Master. Lithia mentioned the name Creed on more than one occasion. You were Inkarose's master and the strongest warlock in all of Monera. You needed Lithia's power so you can act upon your desire to destroy the world. You're the man with the scarlet hair. Why are you inside Kor? A splendid introduction. Couldn't have done better myself. Yep. Yeah. But I have no use for Organicans. Bring forth Lithia at once. I know she's awake inside you. Where's Kor? What did you do to him? It appears this vessel cannot comprehend my words. In Kurose, perhaps your particular method of communication will be more effective. Yes, Master. What are you doing? Ah! Inez! We'll start with one bone. That sounded like three. Oh well. Moving on. Kohaku says, stop! It's barbaric! Yarg. Though we be mechanoids, our components can be crushed. Unpleasant, isn't it? It will stop when Lithia appears, as you were already told. Now let us see how your brother looks with one less arm. I beg you, stop! Lithia, come out! Please! Creed Graphite. Ah, Lithia! How nice of you to show up. Though you eluded my grasp and the girl's Spiria Nexus, you won't be lucky a second time. Your will arts are child's play once their simple nature is unraveled, and you're powerless to stop me. I see that even two millennia is not enough to stop your treachery. You dare speak of treachery? If you call my efforts a sin, then you're as guilty as I. Enough. I grow weary of this banter. Open the door to the Forest of Thorns. Your old obsession still burns, then. I pity you. It's a terrifying thought indeed. I will never allow you to enter that place. I will stand between you and it for all time. It does not matter how many you kill. Lithia, no. What are you saying? You have to help them. I'm begging you. It seems mine is not the only stubborn attitude unchanged after 2,000 years. So then, we'll test your resolve. In Kurose, dismember them, one by one. Yes, master. Ah! No, stop! I'll do whatever you ask. At last, after 2,000 years, the Forest of Thorns is open once more. You disappoint me, Lithia. That was hardly worth the effort. Why did the door open? I didn't do that. Ah, so it was the Soma. As I recall, those devices can be used as a bridge between Spiria. The irony is delicious, Lithia. Your bond with this Organican girl was your undoing. Her Soma allowed her to channel your power against your wishes. And since the vessel seems to be far more cooperative, you are no longer necessary. Ah! Kohaku, you must not allow Creed to possess the forest. Good night, my dear Lithia. Sleep to your heart's content in the deepest recesses of her Spiria. We depart to the Forest of Thorns to sever the manacles rusting for two millennia and free my grandest creation. <sighs> Is this the place? What were you expecting? Green brambles and prickly breer? The Forest of Thorns is simply the codename used for the Manaran Fortress during its development. 
It was you Organicans who obscured its true nature with that fairy tale. Now come. But Master, that's not the way to the activation room. I'm well aware of that. Our first priority is to rouse the mechanoids from their sleep. Of course, forgive me. I appear to be mobile again, thank you. It'll hold, but you best get it looked at later. And while we're at it, maybe someone can check out the kid's head. Kor is no longer himself, he is Lithia's nemesis, who has sought her power for himself. So he's an ancient then, a survivor from the Stone Age? Affirmative. I had originally surmised that he had possessed silver, not Kor. It was a miscalculation. Wait, so if Kor is this Creed guy, what happened to him? It's possible he simply dissipated once Creed gained control of Hesperia. If not, he may be trapped inside. However, our primary objective is to now eliminate Creed at all costs. Look, I think we all know that I've been on the whack the kid bandwagon for a while, but we can't kill him. The key has fallen into the hands of the enemy. If you do not wish the world to be destroyed, I suggest you comply. The world would be destroyed? What terrible secret is this place hiding? I'll declassify the data, but first we should proceed. Hold on a second, what about Silver? Are we just gonna leave him here? Looking at him from... Oh, looking at him was like looking at my former self in the mirror. If I had a chance to get my wife and daughter back, I might have copied his actions. Sure, his plan was a little bit... silly at the end of the day, but it's hard for me to blame him. You deserve a soldier's burial, Colonel. I'm sorry to leave you like this, but it's my duty. I owe it to you, as well as the friends who saved my Spiria. Farewell, my childish jays. Farewell, Azide. Come on, guys, we have a forest to clear. Excellent. Corundum can be brought online at once. As for the ace-type combat models, only Chlorserif is operational. He's a handful, but it'll have to be... It'll have to do. Oh, jeez. More robots. Wee hee hee. Is that all you have to say? You Organicans haven't advanced at all. Stop your shenanigans. I trust you completed the will art while you were in stasis. Greedy, greedy, Credo Rama. How long has it been? 63,361,962,740 seconds? And yeah, I got your formula. This one's a keeper. Chlorosaraph's reboot will require a little more time. That's fine, Lithia and I have some final business in the activation room. Come, Vessel, you are required. These are all Mother Zerums, originators of despair. Rough gig, there aren't enough fly swatters in the world for these things. I knew the forest would surprise me, but I wasn't banking on this. Mother Zerums are an insignificant detail in the overall plan. If what Master Lithia sealed away is released, the world as we know it will cease to exist. We must make haste. You mean there's something worse than these things waiting for us? Indeed. However, the mechanoid statements are slightly off the mark. Wait a sec, I know this voice. The world will not cease to exist. Yeah, Only your world. Stragov. We have arrived at that cursed place where Lithia rented my flesh and Spiria apart. There can be no finer location for the rekindling of my lost endeavors. Now, Vessel, use the power to breathe life into Mysticeat once more. And do try to hurry. I'll slay one Organican for every 10 seconds you delay. Yeehaw, I love this game. 10, 9, 8. I won't let you do this. Impossible, my will arts are s 
my will arts of sealing are flawless. They cannot be undone by you. Which is why I took the liberty of borrowing Kohaku's power. It is by this power that you shall fall. Rarg. I won't be bested so easily, Lithia. Do you forget that your knowledge comes from me? Well played. I've not spent the last two millennia twiddling my thumbs. Creed says, you pushed yourself too hard. Using will art so powerful, it rendered you incapable of maintaining my seal. Even after 2,000 years, you haven't improved much. It seems you too were caught off guard by the power of Soma. Kor, wake up! Sorry things had to go this way, Kohaku. Some way to celebrate getting your Spiria back, huh? Kablamo. It is an honor to finally meet you, Creed. I am Lieutenant Strigov. Yes, Inkurose may have mentioned you. You aided us in manipulating silver. I did. Damn it, Strigov. Don't help this monster. Fascinating. Both Master Lithia and Creed have returned to their physical bodies. So that girl with the emerald hair is Lithia? Why are you all here? You must leave at once. Hardy nuisances, these somatics. I would do well to crush roaches while I have the chance. Allow me, master. I have ye long yearned for the chance. Very well, but make it slow. Lithia must understand the grave nature of her defiance. It shall be done. Okay. I think that's enough killing and threats of torture for one day. See ya. You cannot escape, says Inkarose. I can't warp that many people out of here. We'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Whatever, let's just start running. Run where? And to what end? Now that Creed is returned, he will find us no matter what. He'll find my boot in his face, but I still vote for the running thing. Let's get back to Lignatore. And Kurose says, are you ready to perish? Um, no? <laughs> I have a score to settle with you.
And now I avenge my grandpa. Defeated by mere organicans, have you no shame in Karose? Gah! Kor! This was but a taste of my agony, vessel. The agony of being imprisoned all these long years. Master, please forgive me. Look at old in Karose, weak as a jellyfish. Enough. Be gone in Karose. It was an honor to serve you, Master. I apologize for not being able to accompany you further. These somatics are worthy of your trust, and you must escape with them. What are you doing, Kunzai? So, you did not flee with the other rats. Do you truly believe you can beat me, Mechanoid? No, I cannot defeat you. However, Kohaku, look after my master. Even a mechanoid such as myself can take you out with me. Oh man, this dude's gone crazy. He's gonna blow himself up and send us to Boom City. It's been ages, my old friend. I missed you. Loyal to the end, I see. Ready to throw away your last bolt for the sake of Lithia. Is that you, Chlorseraph? Ugh. Well, that took long enough, says Creed. Good morning, Creed. Don't misunderstand me. I just didn't want to see Kunzite broken. I didn't do it to protect you. You will conduct yourself with respect when addressing Master Creed. No fooling around. Respect. Woo! Oh man, I'm totally dizzy. I'll allow a little breach of etiquette. Turns out I'm in a rather fine mood after centuries of imprisonment. And now, my only desire is within my grasp. Manera shall once again abound with radiance, with glory, with Spiria. In Kurose, other robots, at last, the Manerans' flying fortress of Mysticite shall resume its lofty place in the heavens again. Lithia is now traveling with us, and Kunzite is elsewhere. What's going on? Kunzai, you loyal fool, why did you send me away? Are you daft, lady? He sacrificed himself for you. I have about a zillion questions, and I need answers to all of them. No, I must return to face Creed. Let go of me. No one's going anywhere. At least if we don't have anything to say about it. Idiots, the entire place is going under. Gather the wounded and run. Colonel Silver wouldn't want you to waste your lives. Understood, Major. We will evacuate Lignatore along with all wounded personnel. You guys head for the port. I'll meet you after I get Lapis. That won't work. Now that the sleeper is awoken, there's nowhere to run. Kor, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'd give you a welcome home, Noogie, but I'd rather not die in here. To the port. Kor, are you really okay? I said I'm fine. Damn it, this must be pure will. My healing arts aren't doing a damn thing. Live, Kor, you have to live. Everyone calm down. If we waste time like this here, he really will die. I could probably carry one person and fly them out of here. Uh, maybe not. I failed to stop Creed yet again, says Lithia. Anyways, they ran to the port. But there's no boat. Kor says, Ugh. You have to keep it together, Kor. That Creed guy's art is still eating away at him. Kor, Hisui, help. His heart stopped. Is he dead? What now? This day sucks. Lithia says, Now taken by Creed, the Forest of Thorns is awakening. After 2,000 years, the Flying Fortress has returned.
Lithia says I must preserve their lives, though my Speria weeps for all. At least these blameless children will escape a watery fate. The boy is near death. Creed's will arts are strong indeed, but so are mine. He will live. The other three are healed as well. Where are we? I remember Lignatore getting a facelift and getting tossed into the ocean. Wait, Kohaku, where are you? Hey, it's that Emerald Lady. Kid, are you still ticking? Someone lifted the curse. I get it. She saved us while we were all passed out. Am I alive? Ouch, that hurts. Alright, roll call, everybody. I saw it, the winged whale, and then Lignatoria exploded. Hey, you saw it too, right? You saw the winged whale. Please tell me I'm not crazy. No, we saw it. That thing's a monster in more ways than one. Be glad you're alive to tell the tale. Yeah, if it wasn't for her, we'd all be shark food. Where'd Kohaku go? Does anyone know? Can you sense her? I think she's okay. Her spear is faint, but it's very far away, but at least she's alive. Inez is somewhere nearby, probably to the northwest, and Chalcedony, I'm not sure about him. Well, that's a bit of good news. I bet they're both safe, and that Wings is keeping at least one of them company. Let's head northwest and see if we can find Inez. Are we taking her with? We can't just leave her, she saved us from drowning. Plus, she's the only one who understands what's going on back there, and I want some answers. Jeez, what do these Manerans eat? Rocks? The girl's packing some serious weight. Are those Zerums? Oh, bonkers. We aren't even in a Nexus. They're appearing in our world? This is a nightmare. Ouch. It's no dream, it's real. Wake up, guys. That's a piece of bad news. Those cats were stronger than Zerums you'd find in a Nexus, and they seem to be on the prowl for a human Speria. This would make Despair look like a cakewalk. So anyone who isn't as somatic is in terrible danger. This has something to do with Lithia and the Forest of Thorns' return, I'm sure of it. We'll know once we ask her what's going on. This place looks to be near Hanselar. If Kor is telling us the truth, that's where we find Inez. So save the questions for when we're a happy family again. 